awful. I don't know why. Love cashews. Big fan. There was the last couple of scraps of a thing of mixed nuts in the kitchen. So there were a couple of Brazil nuts that nobody wants. There were a couple of dusty pecans. And there was a cashew. I was like, ooh, cashew, as I walked by. Awful. I don't know why. Anywho, my name's Alan Cox. Thanks for being here. Say hi to Bill Squire. He's right over there. Hey, creepy hugs. Mary Santora is in Midtown Manhattan. In the palatial and luxurious studios of iHeartMedia New York. I don't know what that first word means, but yes. Palatial, like a palace. Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, no. Every time I hear cashew, I think of um, the Tom Green movie, uh, Freddy Got Fingered, where he's like, um, shashu, shashu, because that's how he says it when he's trying to distract the security guard. Is this way too obscure of a reference? Uh, I mean, we were talking about Freddy Got Fingered because uh, Tom Green was here a couple of weeks ago, but I don't recall that part. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong movie. He's no, like trying I think to, you are. He's trying to get into the elevators and he's trying to distract the security guard because he's not supposed to be in whatever that There's just is. so many wild things in that movie, it's hard yeah. to like have one, you know, everything's going to stick with everybody different. Uh, I, so it's like, Shashu, Shashu, there's <laughs> Shashu, Shashu on your shoe. And the guy's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you threw Tom Green a bag of money in the 90s. He's like, I am just going to. Throw everything against the wall. I may never get another opportunity to do this. You know, you really got to, you know, it's like um, it's like sex on the first date. You don't know if there's going to be a repeat performance. So you've got to pull out all your tricks. Not you guys. We do. You got to pull out all your tricks. And uh, Tom Green's Freddy Got Fingered, that was his first date with the movie going public. And I think, right? That was before his other ones, like Road Trip, the, the movies I that he was Road in. Trip. I never saw it, but uh, Freddie Got Fingered, w- was that the first movie he was in, or was he in other ones? I, th- made, I think maybe. he made Road Trip first. He did then, make Road Trip first. And okay. then Freddie Got Fingered was like the first that he started. Because in Road Trip, he was kind of like a side character, but Freddie Got Fingered is his movie. He right. Charlie's Angels in 2000. Yeah. Because of Drew Barrymore, right? They, the they were married or yeah. dating or whatever, and so yeah. she threw him in there. Yep. This says he was in The Godfather. No, that's Mo Green. <laughs> no, it's these are Tom, not Tom Green shows. Oh, shows and movies. The Godfather, nineteen seventy-two. Well, not Tom Green. Yeah, um, he probably. I mean, he's around the same age as me, so he probably would. He didn't have been. play one of the little kids. <laughs> no. Well. Boy, ah, uh, I don't think so. I feel like that's I, something I think he that would have come up. Definitely would have mentioned. Yeah. I mean, it. I'm just going by what Google showed me. Right. Tom Green is about uh, a month younger than me. I don't ever remember. When that. were you born? Oh, I. I that's immaterial, Bill. It doesn't it's even not, matter. It, it, it's it's very not important. about me. It's I can't about, figure out when Tom Green was born if I don't know when you were born. It's so about me, not. It's about Lay Tom it Green, there. not me. It's I about Tom Green, Michael Thomas Green, from Pembroke, Ontario. Uh, it's about him, but just to establish that we're about the same age, and I, boy, I really don't. Um, Think that no, he was in The Godfather. Not, that's not correct. I don't know why that showed up. I went to yeah. IMDb and it's not accurate. Alan Dusty Pecans is on that Chris Stapleton tour. <laughs> yeah, that's a good grab. Uh, she does really good work. Uh, I'm a big fan. Cashews are okay. Try the Blue Diamond blueberry flavored almonds. I don't care for those. I got to tell you, I love those Blue Diamond almonds. I am a nut guy. My go to snack is always nuts. You know me, Bill. I love nothing more than nuts in my mouth. But Especially those, on your birthday, which is when? Those, <laughs> <laughs> those uh, I don't need the blueberry flavored almonds. Uh, the blue diamond almonds are getting to be like a Doritos. You know, they're like, ooh, we got Mexican street corn flavored almonds. Mm. Don't need that. I'll take a smokehouse, and I will take a uh, a wasabi. What's the other one? Wasabi something uh, blue diamond almonds, and those are fantastic. Wasabi pickle. No. Uh, wasabi crunch. They no, are it's a wasabi and uh, oh wasabi and soy sauce, soy sauce or- which ironically I don't use with sushi. I don't care for soy sauce. It makes everything way too salty. That's why um, I get the low sodium, the green cat. I don't care for it. Yeah, Gwen uses that. She loves soy sauce with sushi. I don't care for it. Too salty for me. But um, as I'm eating a, a tin of salty almonds, but um, no, I, I I do like those. But I was in the kitchen last night and Gwen was downstairs watching the news and she's yelling up because she knows that I eat a lot of nuts. As I've said, Bill, you know I love nothing more than nuts in my mouth. On your birthday, which is? 
Um, well, any day is my birthday if there are nuts in my mouth. You know how it is. But um, and she's yelling up. She goes, "Hey, there's a big, uh, there's a big listeria." Uh, There's a big planter's recall, and then she's asking me if, and I go, on what? And she's asking me, do you eat these? I go, no, it's like honey mixed nuts. I go, no. Do you eat the mixed, no, don't eat those. So I was uh, was 3-0 and on missing out on the listeria outbreak and the planter's peanuts. But that was a big, um, you know, I, David Muir broke it first. Of course, I'm not going to put it in my food news, but... For people who are trying to avoid listeria, uh, look into that. Uh, You know, Hormel owns Planters Peanuts, the chili company. uh, They own Planters, and so they uh, recall a whole bunch of them. So for people who eat uh, mixed nuts or honey nuts, things like that. Now, again, I don't think listeria, isn't that just something that makes you poop for a minute? I don't know. I thought it was a Def Leppard album. I just looked it up. (laughs) You're thinking of hysteria, Bill. Oh, okay. Uh, Yeah. Fever and diarrhea, but then next to diarrhea in parentheses, it says loose stool slash poop. Yeah, slash poop. <laughs> you don't know what that is. First you get the loose stool, and then you get slashed, and then you get the poop. Uh, the person that texted me was warning of a wisteria outbreak. That is a flower. Uh, if you are eating nuts and there are flowers growing in them, I-, I wouldn't eat those either. I mean, so, yeah, not the same thing, but I would absolutely not eat those either. Uh, you'd eat a cicada. Yeah, of course. It's all protein. Uh, but listeria, I guess, I would imagine listeria is one of those things where in some countries it can still kill you. In this country, you're like, eh, you get the squirts for a couple of days and you're probably fine. Uh, it's a 20 to 30 percent fatality rate. So, you know, in parts of the world where, like, the water's terrible or that, you know, listeria is probably a big, big deal. We were talking about diverticulitis last week, and I got so many messages from people. I had to be schooled on it. It was when Gwen was here on Friday, and and a listener called and said that he had been suffering from diverticulitis, uh, and he was convalescing at home, and it was the worst pain he had ever been in. And I had to get schooled on what that is, and all these people started. Boy, sometimes you just got to hit, you hit the bullseye when it comes to people's guts. Everybody wanted to tell me about their diverticulitis. Some girl called, right? She was getting kidney stones. Mm -hmm. Sarah used to listen to me in Pittsburgh. Diverticulitis, kidney stones. She probably had some endometriosis on the list there, too. Who knows? But um, if you're a a big nut consumer, look out for that listeria. I've got to take a break. You you all right? Huh? What a first segment. (laughs) Well, you know, you you got to get some nuts and diarrhea. You got to get to the important stuff first so that I can move on. Uh, to the least uh, important things. That's what I like to set this show up, is I like to come right out of the gate, and then by the end of the show, Nothing matters. we Nothing. are into such minutia and mundanity that people are like, Ugh, you know, because we've the, can't wait for, diminishing returns throughout the program. I can't wait for the dude from uh, St. Louis to call and be like, how come you didn't say that colitis is bad? How come you didn't condemn? <laughs> yeah, I, right. Josh called yesterday. He was upset at what I didn't say. Me, yeah, um, yeah I, well, colitis is bad for some people. I'll just put that mm. out there. Again, these are a lot of things that I assume are kind of as written, and I don't have to tell people about that, but there it is. Okay, let me break. I'll have another $1,000 for you, so plenty of keywords for you to win today. A four, to be precise. Guardians baseball later on. We'll dip a couple minutes early. Guardians start up again against the Tigers. Beat them last night. They'll play him at 610 again tonight. So 230, next keyword, $1,000 on the way from the buzzer bookie. The Alan Cox Show.